I don't learn grammar too much. What I had learned, only if you are giving 15 nut in a day, that is okay. If you are giving 10 nuts for speaking, or it's okay. Please give a positive vibration to yourself, to your heart, that you can achieve this. Don't compare yourself with others, right? I compare myself that they are good in English. Welcome aspiring learners on this platform, speak and smile with me. So in this video, we will delve into the fundamentals of mastering English language from scratch. If you are a beginner and looking for enhancing your communication skill over this language, so this video is for you. Here we will address two crucial questions. So first question, how to begin your journey from very scratch? And second question, what are the some mistakes that you have to avoid by learning or starting your journey of this language? So these are some two questions that you have to learn when you are starting your English language journey. By the end of the video, you will have a clear roadmap on how you can become a good fluent speaker of this language. So without any further ado, let's discuss these two questions and you will get all the answer whatever comes to your mind while learning this language. So let's discuss this question, how to begin your English communication or English language from scratch. Okay. So mostly people ask this question and asked by a lot of learners, same question every time. So here I come with a solution, right? So first thing you have to start is that decide your goal. Once you decide your aim, why do you want to start your English communication? So this will help you to make a roadmap uh, that you want to have a conversation with others. That is why you are learning this language. You want to clear an interview or you are just learning to enhance your spoken English for exam purpose so that's all about it right so you have a clear road map or clear goal why are you learning this language if you have a clarity why are you getting uh, attached with this language so first and foremost thing you have to remind this setting goal then come to the next point build your sentences in that you have to make simple and short sentences on daily basis whatever works you are doing you don't need to put your all effort in it you just sit down or when you are talking to someone or when you are doing home chores or when you are at office anywhere anywhere you are just start framing small small sentences right like i'm sitting here so what can i use while sitting okay so i can say in english I'm sitting, I'm writing on paper or uh, people are talking, I'm sitting on chair. So these kind of sentence you can frame in a daily basis. If you frame these kind of sentences and speak out loud because the, that is the one reason that you can become fluent, be loud when you are uh, learning or uh, making sentences, when you are framing and a new word, a new sentence, be out loud at the same moment, right? And what you can do in a one day, you have revised these kind of sentences and you are speaking every day out loud. At the end of the day, what you have to do, collect all the sentences in a one paragraph and write it down on a notebook. Then after writing it down on the notebook, what you have to do, revise at the end of the day and without seeing that paragraph which you have made all the sentences so without watching it you have to speak out loud that those sentences so this will help you to make your mouth fluctuate about this language because this will help you to gain knowledge about that what word should be pronounced like this or how can i pronounce this sentence in this way so this will help you to come out your from comfort zone and uh, you will be habitual of using this small small sentences in English. So this will the only activity I can give you because I had followed this uh, activity and still I also follow whatever I do in my whole day. I sp speak small sentences and uh, big sentences also I speak 
and then at the end of the day i make all the sentences in a one up one paragraph and then i revise it and i'm just going to be out loud and i spoke out loud so this thing has me to build my confidence about learning language this is one of the favorite activity which i have done in my past and the result is in front of you so please try to use this activity write down some small sentences and speak out loud when you are doing any kind of work stay conti continue that if you are not getting any word start speaking wrong right doesn't matter speak 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 the first and foremost thing is that and the second question what are some mistakes you have to avoid while uh, learning this language or when you are starting your journey so first common mistake you have to avoid do not learn grammar too much right because i am the person i don't learn grammar too much what i had learned only simple sentences i learned my vocabularies and uh, some phrases little bit so don't focus on grammar too much yeah grammar is important but too much grammar is just not that much important right the second thing you have to be consistent right if you are not consistent towards this if you are like practicing one day and leaving two days and then you are doing again so this will not going to help you anymore because uh, i can tell my uh, way i can tell my story that i was not consistent regarding two or three months then whatever i had learned in the past vocabulary phrases i all forget and what i have to use i i don't even get to what to say what to not say so please be consistent whatever you are doing just be consistent if you are giving 15 minute in a day that is okay if you are giving 10 minutes for speaking or it's okay but be consistent okay and the third thing you have to do is don't compare yourself with others right this is the most beneficial thing i'm sharing with you because of what i used to do earlier i used to see people around me and on social media as well so i compare myself that they are good in english or i am not and i am elder than them so this thing comes to my mind every time so i avoid using social media sometime and i avoid uh, connecting with people so so that i cannot compare to them to myself right so please do not compare yourself because it's your life they are, it's their life and we are totally different because our situation is different we are uh, educationally different right so please be your own side please give a positive vibration to yourself to your heart that you can achieve this goal you can learn english nobody can else do but you can if you are giving this positive affirmation to yourself then one day you will be a fluent speaker so please try to use my all steps what i had given you this step one step can help you to get fluency in all over the day if within a month you will see the big difference within you uh, when you start it and at the end of the month you will see the huge difference in you so please follow this rule which i had applied and avoid using this kind of thing which i mentioned in this video till then please be connected to me and please follow me and do subscribe our channel click the like button so thank you so much for watching this video